As you have a ruler, we measure length with it. So we know that a ruler has, that is one foot long, shows 12 inches. This would be like the one that you have in your manipulatives, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's 12 inches and a foot. If we had a ruler that is three feet long, it is called a yardstick. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there are three feet in one yard. So three of those rulers would make a yardstick. Does that make sense? So you can kind of picture that, right? Okay, so it says, how does the size of a foot compare to the size of an inch? So if we were able to cut these out, you would be cutting out these little one inch boxes or tiles, okay? As you can see, they have labeled each one of them with what? One inch, okay? Then what they did was they placed 12 of the tiles end to end, which would be next to each other, to build a one foot, okay? So do you see how large the one foot would be? The size of what? But the size of? A ruler. a ruler, okay? So a ruler that you would use. So then it says to compare the size of one foot to the size of one inch. So they put the foot here first, and then they put the one inch, yes? So your question at the bottom is, so one foot, is how many times as long as an inch? Ten and ten. Twelve times. Because it takes twelve inches to make a foot. So it is twelve times as long as an inch. So you'll fill that in down there. So this twelve inches and a foot is something that's going to be helpful to you, especially if you're trying to figure some of these lengths. All right, so remember, 12 inches and a foot. Say it with me. 12 inches and a foot. Turn the page, please. Remember, you can always go back and look at that again if you have forgotten. So now we're going to compare some measures. Emma has four feet of thread. She needs 50 inches of thread to make some bracelets. How can she determine if she has enough thread to make the bracelets? So let's highlight our question here, which is, how can she determine if she has enough thread to make bracelets? What does she have? What does it say in here, Mackenzie? She has four feet of thread, and what does she need? What does it say she needs here, Morgan? 50 inches. Do you notice that these two are not in the same measurement? One is in feet, and the other one is in inches. So you need to be thinking about that. So we know that one foot is 12 times as long as an inch. So you can write feet as inches by multiplying the number of feet by 12. See this? Multiplying. Okay? Everybody with me on this? So one foot, we already know, is equal to 12 inches. So you would take the 1 times 12 to get 12 inches. So if I have 2 feet, I'm going to take that times the 12, and I'm going to get what? 24 inches. And then you can fill it into the chart. So anytime you're trying to go from feet to inches, you'll need to multiply. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. But you're going to have to do some of these without their help. So three feet times what? Still taking it times 12. So three feet times 12 gives you? 36 inches. Make sure that you have your label on there, then you can put it through the chart. We're going to take 4 feet times 12 again. Notice we're taking it times 12 every time because there's 12 inches in a foot. And what do I get this time? 48 inches. Throw it into the chart. but you have to get to 50 inches. So are we done? 
No, because we're trying to get to 50 inches, and is 48 going to get there? No. So 5 feet times the 12 is going to give you 60 inches. Yes. All right, so as we look at the chart, we're going to compare the 4 feet and the 50 inches. So 4 feet was how many inches? 48. So you're going to put that in here. 48 inches. And obviously 50 inches is how many inches? It's still 50 inches. You're putting everything in inches because that's what it says she needs it in. So it told you that she had four feet of thread, but you need to transform it into inches. And so that's why we're using inches here. So what do we know about 48 and 50? 48 is less. We always read from left to right, guys, when we're filling in our less than, greater than, and equal to symbols. So Emma has four feet of thread, and she needs 50 inches of thread. So four feet is less. Then 50 inches. So Emma does not have enough thread to make the bracelets. Make sure you get does not have so it makes a complete sentence there. So yes, we went through and we figured to the four feet. We went ahead and made sure we went past the 50 inches. And as we did that, we found out that four feet is not enough thread. Therefore, she's not going to be able to make what she wants to make. Unless, of course, she buys some more. Does that make sense? Now, did you have to do a little extra work up here to get to that? Could you have just taking, taken excuse me, your four feet times your 12 to figure out if it was enough? Yes. If you know what 12 times 4 is, you would know that it's going to be 48, and that 48 is not enough because she needs 50 inches, okay? So yes, they made us do a couple more steps. Typically, you would only need to do the one, as long as you know that you're going to multiply to get from feet to inches. Guys, when you're going from something larger and going to something smaller, you will multiply. Does that make sense? If you're going from inches to feet, what do you think you're going to do? because you're trying to get something bigger. So it's going to be a smaller number. Does that make sense? All right. So what if question down here at the bottom? What if Emma had five feet of thread? Would she have enough thread to make the bracelets? And we figured it, so it should be an easy answer. Does she have enough? Yes. And then our explanation, what is five feet? So five feet is equal to 60 inches, and what does she need? She needs 50 inches. So basically you're looking at what you figured to answer the question. You can see that we did 5 feet times the 12 to get 60. So it asks us if she has enough, if she uses five feet or has five feet, and we know that the answer is yes, because five feet is equal to 60 inches, and she needs 50 inches. You could have also have used a comparison sentence where you said 60 inches is greater than 50 inches, so she has enough thread. Those are some of the ways you could have explained it. Please remember that there's not necessarily only one explanation to every problem, but your explanation needs to make sense with the information that you figure. Okay? So yes, 5 feet is equal to 60 inches, and she needs 50 inches. So we know she has enough. Turn to the share and show, please. Now we're going to use a measurement that we have been using, the 12 inches in a foot, but in the little box, they give you some more. It did talk about on the first page that three feet is equal to a yard, okay? But it did not talk about the 36 inches in the yard, okay? But if you think about that for a second, 
if you have 12 inches, okay, in a foot, and there's three of those feet in a yard, you're going to take the 12 times 3 to get how many inches? Do you see how this is working? Yes. So it would take those three rulers to make that yardstick. Kind of following along here? So you can go from feet to inches, you can go from yards to feet, or you can go from yards to inches. Okay? So now it says to compare the size of a yard to the size of a foot. Take a look at what they have. They okay, drew a model for you. Here is one yard. So what am I going to put in each one of these for feet? Again, one foot in each one. So you will write one foot in each one of them. So here is a whole yard. Each one of these is worth a foot. So it takes how many feet to make a yard? Three. So that means one yard is three times as long as one foot. Now look at the next couple. It's going to give you one measurement and it's going to want you to put it into another one. So on number two, it's asking you to go from feet to inches. Yes. So you have to know how many inches are in a foot. And the answer is 12. And so if you have two of those, you're going to do what? You're going to multiply like it talked to us on the next page. So 12 times the 2 is going to give you 24. Yes? Number 3 says to go from 3 yards to feet. How many feet are in a yard that we just looked at? 3. So what are we doing with 3 yards and the 3 feet we know are in a yard, Morgan? So what am I going to get? 3 times 3 is 9. I want you and your partner to talk about what you're doing for 4. Slide over there and hurry. They're going to be done talking by the time you get there quickly. There's a chair right there. See it? Just sit in that chair. We don't waste time looking over there. Just wait. 